Hi, welcome to module two. In this module, you're gonna learn some additional SWIFT skills that are absolutely essential to the upcoming projects that we're going to build together. Specifically, you're gonna dive deeper into the UIKit library. You're gonna learn where to find definitions for all of the properties and methods of those classes. And just to remind you, the UIKit library is that framework that Apple gives us that contains all of those pre-built, ready-to-use elements like buttons, image views, labels, and actually a lot more than just user interface elements, as you're gonna find out. You're gonna learn about class inheritance, which allows classes to build off of one another. This is going to save you a lot of time and also save you a lot of work from having to rewrite code. You're gonna learn more Swift code, specifically how to keep track of a larger collection of data. With variables and constants, each variable can only keep track of one piece of data. So you're gonna learn how to keep track of a larger collection of data, how to iterate or go through each item of data and how to process it and do something with it. And finally, you're gonna learn how to have variables and constants that can store nothing. I know that sounds really strange, but trust me, it's absolutely essential. Some of the concepts may seem theoretical or a little bit obscure, and that's why I highly recommend that after each lesson, you download that worksheet and practice the concepts that we've taught in that lesson. It's really gonna help you put it into practice. By doing the exercises, you'll also remember the syntax and the keywords better. I don't recommend you try to memorize anything. Just try to do all of the worksheets. If you get stuck, have that Swift cheat sheet handy and refer to it. And sooner or later, you're not going to need that reference sheet at all. And finally, I know for some of you guys, this module might not be deemed as fun, but think of it this way. The skills that you're going to learn in this module is going to enable you to build apps that are more complex and apps that can do more. And furthermore, I wouldn't be teaching you guys this stuff if it wasn't absolutely essential to your app building future. All right, so let's get the show on the road. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And if you don't want to miss a single video, make sure you tap on that bell icon as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.